Okay, I have here some spruce. Not really sure if it's black or red. It looks green to me. <laughs> Very funny, right? I am about to cut this up. This is um, a wild uh, native species. And I'm about to cut it up into one inch pieces, put it in the two liter bio flask to steam distill the essential oils the biomass and the hydrosol. With the chopped up spruce, I've inserted the screen in the bottom for the steam to come through. And quite a, quite a bit will be held in here. So I'm just going to Put the camera down because I can't do this with one hand. It's loaded quite a bit of the uh, spruce into the biomass glass. Pack it in a bit with this wooden spoon. And that's what's left. So we're ready to now, that joint's been slightly greased, ready to put that on top of the boiler. And ready to go. And I will finish setting up. Still head up here. You can see all the is chopped up in there and attached to the still head I have the condenser which I haven't turned on because I want to film that. I've got five bottles of ice in here now and I have more frozen bottles of water in the fridge to keep this cool as these melt. They do melt very quickly but rather than hook up my condenser to the sink and waste tons of water I'm just going to exchange these ice water bottles and uh, that way I don't have to keep dumping ice cubes in and emptying water out. So I'm now going to plug in the pump. And you can see the condenser is filling up with water. I'm going to have to raise the boiling boil here. You can see in the biomass class, there is some condensation coming back down into the boiling class. And I want it to travel all the way through to the still head, to the condenser. And some of it is. We are already getting a steady amount coming into the condenser. But to improve the efficiency here, I'm going to wrap these scarves instead of using a towel. It's easier to get a good wrap with a stretchy scarf. I'm going to wrap that over the biomass class and then we'll check and see if we've reduced the amount of condensation returning to the boiler. Within a few seconds, I started getting such a, a large amount of hydrosol dripping that it actually missed and went all over the table. So that greatly improved the efficiency of the steam running through the entire system into the condenser. There it is. See how much con hydrosol is coming out now. All I did to improve that drip is just wrap the biomass class. You can see also in the condenser, I'm brewing about an hour and a half. Quite a bit of that biomass class now. is still wrapped thoroughly. And I've got about 500 millimeters of hydrosol and a very small oil layer there. The Cooling water is still working out well. The five frozen water bottles have kept this water cold this entire time. But I am going to stop the system now because I doubt I'm going to get much more oil. And uh, so that will be the end of the balsam essential oil collection and distillation. I mean spruce. filling the spruce and I'm noticing that this hydrosol is behaving very curiously. 
two little balls forming, swimming around before they pop. I'm thinking there's a lot of oil in this distillate. Look at that. That was interesting. That's the oil layer, that is. Cool. You can be that's me. It's just collected the essential oil from the separatory funnel. And that's all there is. Very small amount. Quite a bit of hydrosol probably a lot of oil in that. Certainly it's very fragrant. So it's ready for bottling.